Hello guys, how you doing? I got a question. I've been wanting to ask this for a while because you know it used to didn't bug me a bug me or anything, but now it does. Um, okay, I see a lot of people. Um, I know I should just worry about myself, but this problem that I've been seeing resides off of eBay. And you guys are thinking, what now? Well, it's not the shipping. It's not the packing. No shipping. Bubble mailers. Pretty white sleeves. Another problem is written on eBay. And um, a lot of people take advantage of it, too. And that's with graded cards. You used to didn't be that bad. You trusted the the company to grade your cards, right? To give them the correct grade. It's just their opinion, guys. Their opinion. That's all it is. This guy. Okay, just say for instance, I have one of these and another one just like it. PSA 10. Just, just pretend. Just pretend this one's the 10. This one's the 10, and this one's the 9. Wait, let me. I'm doing it on a different camera. Just pretend one. This one's a 10, and this one's a 9. Well, what they're doing on eBay is okay, they're buying a 10. And they get it to their to their house, and they have one just like it. If they see a nine on the website and it's been sold, what they do is they stick the nine. They stick the nine. They keep the 10 and they stick the nine as a as proof, proof that they received the nine, but they didn't get the 10. So they asked for their money back. So now they got a 10, right? So that's one problem. There's a lot of scammers out there that do that. Just to let you guys know. And uh, that I've been seeing a lot of a lot of posts on YouTube about that um, here lately. Um, another another one is if you buy a nine off of eBay and you get it and say, okay, you got a PSA nine, virtually almost flawless. A per perfect PSA 10. Okay. A 9 is supposed to be just a slight difference between a 10 and a 9. I mean, there might be a, a speck on the card or something like that. And uh, I'm looking at my dog. Um, and you get the card... And they have one just like it. And the one they get is a better PSA 9. But yet, the card that they have is a PSA 10 or, or a PSA 9. But that's the one with the spec on it. They're doing this to sellers that don't put pictures up on eBay of their cards. That's another thing you're supposed to do. When you put a graded card, the serial number on that card identifies that picture with that card. That's the fault of the seller. So this, so people take advantage of people like that. They'll have an extra card that they're wanting to replace. So they're looking for another card, another seller 
that's got no pictures of that card up on eBay. And uh, they take advantage of the seller. Say, hey, I want my money back. I'm going to send this card back and I want my money back. Because it's got a chip on it. Or it's got a, even though it's a nine, it's got a, a, a spec on it that I don't like. Or if it's got a, 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 a little a soft corner, just a tiny bit soft corner. Or, God forbid, the bottom of the card frayed up or something. And they gave it a nine or something like that. You know, so instead of them uh, keeping the card, they, they have another nine on them and they send the card back to the seller and the seller issues a refund. And I've been seeing a lot of that lately too. Um, people are leaving bad feedback when it's not necessary on guys that are selling cards on eBay. I haven't received any negative feedback because I know how to spot it. I, I, I've been scammed so much in my younger days. I know now what to look for. So it's just a life lesson between uh, somebody that's been scammed and somebody that hasn't been scammed. And it just irks me how they have the balls to do something like that so i just thought i'd let you guys know it's not a rant per se it's i mean it is a rant but but it's not because it hasn't happened to me it's just a a, a psa to let you guys know or an fyi to let you guys know what's going on on the ebay scene uh, just to, uh, I think it's stupid that people take advantage of eBay sellers, especially the the smaller the smaller um, people that are on eBay, the smaller sellers, the the low business people, or the sellers like me. But I put a picture up of every card that I have, and. They're really good pictures. I take good to my cards. Just let you guys know. Talk to you later.